it's a, almost like a temporary taking by the government of our operation without compensation. President Donald Trump is spending this upcoming weekend at his golf course in Bedminster. What does that mean? A 10 mile flight restriction in a radius around the golf course, an area that includes tiny Solberg Airport. It is a mom and pop family airport. It was built and uh, designed by my father back in 1939. That is Tor Solberg Jr., one of the co-owners of Solberg Airport here in the hills of Reddington. The FAA and the Secret Service have established this zone through which planes cannot fly for the president's protection. That means from 9.30 p.m. Thursday till 10 p.m. on Sunday, there will be no flights in or out of Solberg Airport. And this Trump supporter is worried about what it might do to his business. I did vote for him. You voted for Trump? I did vote for him. And you still think you made the, the correct decision even with this impact uh, it's gonna have to you? Uh, yes. He needs to have a certain amount of protection, but there should be greater flexibility in the way they handle it. Solberg is one of two small airports included in this exclusion zone. Several others right on the edge are gonna be allowed to continue operations. Talking to people around here, they're worried about the impact that could have. Why? Because about 60% of Solberg Airport's revenue comes from flight lessons. When do the majority of those happen? On the weekends. If he were here, maybe half the weekends of the summer would re reduce our overall uh, income by 15 to 20 percent. And don't forget, Bill, this could continue for four or eight years, depending on how long President Trump serves in office. Presidential flight restrictions are nothing new. Small aircraft owners around Martha's Vineyard were annoyed when those flight restrictions were in place for former President Barack Obama when he vacationed there during his terms in office. However, this area of New Jersey is much more heavily populated. There are several exceptions to this flight restriction. Obviously, police and military flights can continue through it, but over 18,000 feet, planes are allowed to fly. What does that mean? Commercial aircraft are gonna have no problem flying to this space one of the mechanics here at the airport pointed out the commercial aircraft were actually the weapons used on 9-11. The small aircraft industry and the industry that we are in wasn't in effect. I mean, you know, it didn't affect it in September 11th. That was commercial aircraft that did that. All Tor Solberg wants to do is make America fly again. He doesn't like the idea of asking the government to reimburse, but feels that's what he may have to do at the end to make up for lost business. So has he made any calls? Has he talked to the governor? Has he talked to Cory Booker, Menendez, uh, and asked about that or not yet? He's waiting to see how it impacts him. Not yet. I mean, he said to me, like, I, I don't want folks in Idaho paying for my airport here. He's kind of reluctant to do it, but he's going to kind of see how things shake out. Well, Bill, I was up in Bedminster about a week ago when they were concerned about the security costs that would be a possible burden to taxpayers. And the mayor said he reached out to the district congressman who did respond that hopefully the federal government will help in terms of alleviating some of the costs that would come with the president being in such a small town. Alex, does he have his summer booked out already for the flight plans? Can he already assess that that 15 to 20 percent is going to happen? There's not really a dollar figure right now, but also you do these flight lessons when the potential students are available. All right, thanks, Alex.